Welcome to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Jack. And I'm Oz. And today we're going to continue in our ongoing quest to feed you for pennies on the dollar. And today we're going to be doing a uh, fried rice with uh, chicken in it this time. So really quickly, you got your rice. If you don't know how to do it, we have the description. Sesame oil or chili oil, which is what we use. Uh, then chicken. Two eggs. Half a head of broccoli we're going to use. Uh, frozen mushrooms and a couple of green onions. Uh, broccoli. We're only using about half of it here. Yeah, super cheap. It was like 40 something cents. We're using like half. Just tear them off. Take the little trees out. Make a little Lorax. It's sad. Don't let them escape. <laughs> <laughs> the tree people don't get breaks here. Uh, you can cut these up a lot smaller. I usually just half them because I want big pieces in it. I want to watch what I'm eating. Get at the restaurants. They try to sneak carrots and peas in. The same size as the rice, yeah. and I don't like that. Uh, mushrooms again, super cheap, like like a dollar. Again, we're only going to use a handful of these, about half of it, if and, even. Right. <laughs> and again, I just slice these. I don't put them too small. You can if you want. It's personal preference. It doesn't cook different either way. Yeah, I don't mind having my vegetables quartered or small. Yeah. Doesn't bother me. And I'll pick all that up, put it in there. Make sure to grab your fingertips that might have got lost in translation. Uh, sorry, <laughs> cheap chicken is like two bucks and we're using half of it. You can see how thin it is. Just take it and cut long slender strips in it. Special discounted frozen chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's frozen. It'll cook the same. You'll be all right. Now, uh, once you get all that, again, you're going to need your two eggs. Nothing special prep for those guys. We get everything all laid out here. I think I'll total is like $3 for all this stuff. Yeah, just about. Yeah. Uh, again, the green onions and the mushrooms you can freeze and use them over and over and over, right? Yep. Uh, the same package instead of just using the other ones. Uh, that's what you're going to need. All right, be sure to clean your damn thing, your cutting board, because you had raw chicken on it, frozen or not. That's gross. Clean it. Clean it with soap, water. Raw meat is not okay. All right, again, put your stuff at about medium high, using two tablespoons of the chili oil. Now, in the restaurants, they use sesame oil. That's the trick of making it taste like the stuff. In the restaurants, we use chili oil because we like the spicy. Uh, always start with the uh, the greens. Get those in there cooking down first because they take so much to break them down. And the mushrooms too, just because I like them soaking in that oil. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, just spread them around, get them all cooked in that one plate. You gotta see, I don't like my. Uh, stuff too limp, so I just scoot it over the side, and then you can put your frozen chicken just on one side there. Make sure it turns, get it browned, done. Now move it to each side, got your two eggs, put them in a bowl, and beat them up. All right, basically, you're making scrambled eggs. Right, yeah? Yeah. That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> I've never made scrambled eggs. That's <laughs> weird. Next video, we'll do scrambled eggs. Let's <laughs> put spam with it. Uh -huh. All right. So, <laughs> then just pour those where you're putting the chicken. And just beat them up. Now, chicken scrambled eggs is done. Let it stick on the bottom. Keep beating them around. Right? Yeah. If you got one hand, take it. Turn it to one side. It'll keep all the eggs from going on that one side and down that one corner. And you can keep beating them and cook them. Every now and then, scrape it off the sides. Put it back in the bottom. Don't let it stick. Yeah. Basically, it's a stir fry. <laughs> yeah. with, with rice in it. Once you get your eggs all scrambled, just mix it all in right with the rest of it. Doesn't take long. But if you want it nice and mixed up, you don't want it to get a just a whole mouthful of fried scrambled egg. Oh, oh, <laughs> no. no. Uh, two cups of rice. And I just use the same measuring cup to get the wet rice that was, was pre-cooked earlier. Don't use the raw stuff. It's crunchy and it's horrible. Oh. <laughs> crunchy oh. rice is bad. <laughs> you had to fight to get that rice out of the cup, didn't you? Well, it, it gets sticky when it gets cooked. It was fresh out of the pot. Still warm. And then just, again, stir it around make sure it gets to the skillet where it's getting down where that oil is. Now, a lot of this stuff, especially the rice, will absorb that oil as it's cooking, right? So, eventually, you're going to have to use more oil. More oil. Uh, I, I think a lot of people just only use the two tablespoons. It's not me. I don't even measure the second half. I'm just like, man. Just throw it in there. <laughs> whatever you need, I suppose. More oil just to see it if it... <laughs> it starts to turn around where it's not cooking the rest of it and all that oil soaked up or evaporated. I'll add some more later. But again, just keep it turning. Again, it's basically a stir fry. You just keep coming over. You can see the oil sitting at the bottom. Just keep stirring it. Wooden spoon, plastic spoon. Don't use anything metal because 
non-stick pan. And it makes a horrible screechy effing noise. All right. And then <laughs> you can see where it's turning that yellow color. And that's when it's about done. You do a little dark until it's brown, but that's what I prefer. So then you just take it, serve it in a bowl, add uh, soy sauce, teriyaki, whatever, uh, sprinkle in seasonings or whatever. But I think it costs us less than three bucks and serve a fat guy at least three times or a family of four at least twice. <laughs> <laughs> Easy enough. Well, there we go. Thank you for joining us on Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. Uh, we'll see you next week. We do these videos every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, you can find us on social media at Living Between or on Instagram or on Facebook, Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. Easy to find us. Uh, also, while you're here, like, share, subscribe, push the little bell notification. The, you know, when these things pop up, Tuesdays and Fridays. <laughs> and share, like us, please. Like us. The more you do that, the more we can get this done. Thanks.